Yo, what is good, boys? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Sugar Rush Release 1 that's happening this Thursday, and also a market change that I kind of recently acknowledged, but I never talked about it. But I want to tell you guys, I want to add it to this video. So it's going to help you guys get your team building process up. But number one, Sugar Rush. What do you expect? All that good stuff. Number one, I in the past, we've always had you know, LTDs, right? So if you guys don't know, like how we had with Zero Chill, we get four LTDs, Easter LTDs. So that's probably what's going to be four. We might get two. Like last year, I'm pretty sure we got two, like that were told, like we knew kind of before, like in the files or something. And then two we didn't know about, but, you know, we ended up finding out. So I think we'll get four of those. And I think it's going to be the same. We'll just have mystery, you know, we'll have simple, whatever. Uh, two egg extravagant, if you guys didn't know, that's what's... That's what it is. Um, that's like the those are like the best ones. Um, but what's it called? Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if that's what we got again. Now, also, normally when sugar rush happens, you know, there's a pretty oh no, there is a big market crash. So sell your team. I am personally. If you guys don't know, because you know some people might not know, so I want to make sure everyone knows. Last year there's a there is always a huge market crash leading up to Sugar Rush. So that's why me personally I'm gonna sell off my sauce gardener. I'm gonna be selling off probably Bo Jackson and Justin Simmons as well. And I highly recommend for you guys to sell off everyone. This Rob Hamstein is free by the way. Um the reason why is every year we get team or not sorry, we get presents, right? So sorry, not presents, eggs. Now what does this mean? What this means is we get certain types of eggs, and I already have some predictions. I do want to talk about it in this video. We're, I think we're definitely gonna be getting a combine present. I think we might get a team of the year present, and that might be 95 pluses or, yeah, I think I think they have to go all out hopefully. But I think we'll get team of the year present. We'll get a combine present. We'll get a, and then we'll get a sugar rush limited present, and then depending on when. Um, if we have any new promos, I feel like it's, like, oh, Super Bowl as well. We'll probably get a Super Bowl present. We, when is Ring of Honor coming out? I don't know. No, it's not coming out before Easter, because that's what those two weeks are going to be. We're probably going to get a weekly wild card, and then also an AKA. So I think those should be, like, the five big present names. Now, what does that kind of mean? I think those cards are going to drop in price. I also have already sold off my Mike Evans, which I got bought for 1.68 mil. Sold them for 1.9, so I'm happy with that return. And then I sold off Kyle Hamilton as I saw his price trending down. Sadly, when he was up for 1.89, he was that high. I decided I'm going to let him sit. I think he might get to hit 2 mil, but he ended up not, sadly. It's whatever. You know, you don't always win. I lost barely any coins. Actually, no, I gained like 20K. So, you know, any, any gain is a gain, and I got him. Now, what else do I think will happen? So I think just like la just like for uh, zero chill, I think we might have a we'll probably have a house rules definitely, and then I think we'll have like candy. You know how we have whatever it is Easter candy, um, or Easter eggs, whatever they want to call it this year. Um, I think that will be the main way to get mystery pre or well, any presents or not presents. Sorry, eggs. Whether it's a mystery egg or it's an egg extravagant egg, whatever it is, that's how I think we're gonna be able to get a direct one. I think also, like last year, we'll have a candy reroll or whatever you call it, egg reroll. Now, that might come in the second release because I'm pretty sure that's what happened last or la for Zero Chill this year was it actually came in the second release. So, if it comes in the first or second, that's what's going to happen. We'll probably get a, uh egg reroll or not egg, but um candy reroll, and then you can use that candy. Once you get that candy, you can, you know, get pre er, eggs. And then I think we'll also have house rolls to get candy candy that's how i think it's gonna work or whatever whether it's a uh, house rolls or like outside like that zero chill event somehow there is gonna be a mode to get whatever currency whether it's candy or candy eggs whatever or chocolate whatever um so yeah that's definitely gonna be something i would recommend to kind of have his training because i think that's what's gonna happen and i also think uh maybe we get a training like a egg training role but we probably won't I know last year there was actually a glitch where uh, eggs were 170k training. Only the extravagance. They were 170k training. I remember one day it glitched and there was, they were only 17k. And so many people loaded up on presents. I was away and I was actually in Puerto Rico at the time. 
um, when I ended up finding out, which, you know, I was like, whatever, you know. I don't care too much about that many eggs. I still end up getting the card I wanted badly, Brandon Marshall, so I was happy. But, so yeah, we'll probably get four limiteds. There'll probably be a combine, team of the year, uh, Super Bowl, a.k.a. and weekly wild card press. I think those will be the five main. And then, you know, just like with the Zero Show, we'll have the lower uh, overall ones, you know, no, I was going to say maybe we have a zero chill, but that's way too far behind. Uh, am I missing a promo? I feel like there's got to be one more. There's no Valentine's Day promo, no. There's got to be a promo I'm missing. I'm just blanking on. <gasps> yeah, um, the anime promo. What's it called? Uh, I don't know it. What's it called? Let me see. Does it say it here? Genki Force. Genki Force. We'll probably also get a Genki Force Extravagant egg. So those will probably be, uh, be the extravagant egg. So I would not be shocked if all those cards drop in price. Drop in price. So that's why personally I'm a self team of the year sauce. And we're 100% going to get a combine one. We have literally gotten a combine one every year. And because of how close Zero Chill was to now, I think there's a very high chance we, or not Zero Chill, sorry, team of the year. I feel like there's kind of a very high chance of us actually getting a team of the year present, maybe. Now, what else do I think? There... Also will probably be a Super Bowl MVP present. There have been in years past, like Madden 22 and 23. So we'll probably get one again this year. So I would highly recommend, or not recommend, but you know, I would keep an eye out for that. And then if we get any other limiteds, maybe uh, we might get, there might be another th another one, but I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh, I think those are all the big promos. So yeah, I would re recommend that. Now also... With the Zero Chill, you know, there's going to be a huge drop, so make sure you guys are selling your cards, but whatever. For me, it will probably be Sauce Carter. I might sell. I'll sell off him. Bo Jackson. I'll be selling off Justin Simmons. Now, here's my thing. I'm going to be selling them off for release one, but I'm not waiting to another whole week to sell off to, to, to playing Madden again. Why? Because I'm going to be in spring break. I'm going to be playing Madden, you know? So what I'm going to personally do, I'm going to sell, sell my team probably, before Sugar Rush release one, actually maybe I don't sell off my team, but listen, one hundred million percent. Yes, I just said the most random word, but hundred percent, you have to sell off your team. Probably that Tuesday, or not Tuesday. Sorry, uh, Easter's on Sunday. That's when the eggs hatch. So like Friday, you want to have every auctionable card that is recent, ch a recent champion of your team. Why? Because it is going to cause a huge, well, not a huge, but a big downfall in prices, mainly for the higher overalls. 95s are, like, like 95s are just around the next part of the video segment I'm going to be talking about. Like, let me just, you know, you know, like, 96s are a bit more. I believe 96s quick sell for, let me see, so 96s, they quick sell for 160k. So this card right here, this Hunter Henry, 200k. I guarantee you on Easter, he'll be 160k, the bare minimum. Why? Because he's not gonna be too valuable anymore. Sadly, the truth. Um, who else? You know, there are more cards. This Randall Cunningham. If we get a quarterback, he is gonna be 200k. He's will. These cards will drop a lot. Other cards that will is this 97 with Jerry Sneed. Let me see how much 97 is quick sell for. 200k, I'd assume. Perfect. Damn, 260k, that's 100k difference. This card, I guarantee, will be 300k on Easter Day. That's just how this market works. They're going to drop in price. This card will probably, this Marshall Fogg will probably be 260k on the dot. That's just, that's how it works. Um, did I say 260k for Jerry Sneed? I'm at 300k. 300k if I didn't already say that. 300k for Jerry Sneed. Maybe even less. It all depends on how good the presents are. But also depends on what presents there are. These 94s. Let's just see how much 94 quick. I know they don't quick sell for a lot. Like 30k, right? 66k. They stall on Schultz. Will be 66k probably on Easter Day. Same for all these cards really. You know, that's just it's just how it works. Who else? Where's this? Let me find a 95 real quick. Let's go by overall. Right here. All right, uh, perfect. This one right here, Jalen Petrie. 
Just random one I picked. He quick sells for 100k on the dot. This card, well, obviously it's probably like 150k, more so 100, 180k. He will be down a lot. That's the card that will go down a lot. A card like that. Oh, perfect. Tory Holt, great example. He quick sells for 100k. He's 140k. He will be 100k. And the reason why I'm saying the quick sell value is my next part of this video. Number one, let me just before I even go to that. That's how it works. You, there, this EA will never let training go below one po coin per one training point. That's big for investing. Let me just show you a card right now that you can. And actually, I was just on him, but I'll just go back to him. Tory Holt, if you are a huge Rams fan, but you don't want to lose so many coins, buy Tory Holt. He will never go under 100K. So if you can get find a cheap, like, higher overall card, like, for me personally, actually, if you want to, that's a good way to build your old lineup. Is just straight up by looking at cheaper cards. So these 96s, Quicksilver 160k. Let me find a Gene Upshaw for 200k. That's guaranteed right here. 234k. Maybe I lose 80k. Whatever. That's only 80. Yeah, 80k is a lot. But you will never. You will never have to worry about him going under 160k. So it'll never be like, oh, like nothing. You know. Like this quit and like you don't want to buy a 350k coin card, you know, like like O lineman thinking he's not like left tackle, like any of these combine centers or whatever, they aren't gonna be cards you want. Like you're not buying Creed Humphrey thing, like just as like an investment. So you can kind of now with EA doing that, you actually can kind of invest like how you used to with LTDs with training. So that like with other cards, not just LTDs, which I think is cool. Um because, you know, you used to always buy LTDs for 400k, that's a good steal. Now, if I find a 96 for 150k, that's a great deal, you know? If it's a position I need, I'm buying it. Uh, DK Metcalf, right here, if you get him for one... If you get this card for 160k, you're losing nothing. You're losing... Well, you're losing, what, like 16k once it's all said and done? Because, you know, tax. That is nothing. If you could, By the way, if one of you guys need this card, I should be posting this... Um, right now it's one four oh one. So in an hour this card's gonna end. So if you want a DK Metcalf and you're on Xbox Series X, go go try and win this auction real quick for 160k. Barely anything you're losing. So if you really want him, go do it. I don't want that card. I don't need him. Actually, maybe I do. Actually, whatever. I'll I'll buy it myself. I don't need. I don't need. I'd rather one of you guys get a 40k discount over me. So that's another thing to keep in mind with this training thing. You guys can actually invest in cards. Like how you used to with LTDs. And you, if I can, you know, if you, I feel like personally, once you get over 100K, it's not really quote unquote investing. If it's under 100K, I think after 80K and more is when you're buying the card for the card, not because it's a good deal. Though if you can find a card that you like, like DK Metcalf, he's only 210K he was. I loved that DK Metcalf. I might go buy one of his cards, actually. Not the U.S. One of you guys can try and get that 160K bid card. I don't need him. But, yeah, that's you're not losing anything. You're losing what? You're losing nothing. Whatever. But you guys get my point. You can use these cards to help with your coin stack and not lose as many coins as you, you might have in the past, you know? So, boys, that is the video. Please like it if you guys found it helpful. And if you guys are new, please consider sub subbing because we are on that road to 1.1K, but even bigger, we're on that road to 2 Hey, Let's hit it by the end of the year, boys. Have an amazing day. Peace out.